So Tanya, what's the journey you take people on? So people find you and what do you actually do for your clients? That's different to say if I just ring a solicitor because I didn't know, do I ring a solicitor? Do I ring, I need to work out the accountant because we had a business and property. Do I need to talk to a financial planner? Like who do I go to? So what is it that you do with your clients? Well, this is really how this business started because at the end of the day, um, if you go to a lawyer, a lawyer isn't a financial advisor and they're not an accountant. So they cannot and should not ever be giving advice on how you should be dividing your assets and what that looks like. So what my business does is we sit there and we take a full list of assets and liabilities of the couple and we try and um, put a clear picture together before we've even gone to a lawyer. So we do a lot of that pre-work with our clients and what that means is by the time they've turned up to the lawyer, they've got some idea as to what the outcome is. So in a lot of cases, people will just turn up and go, you know, I don't know, our marriage has fallen apart. Um, I, I want to get a divorce, but you know, I'm here for you to help me. So you're going to the lawyer to say, what's my next steps? But in a lot of cases, the lawyer can only help you from a legal perspective because that's their area of expertise. So I sort of see myself pretty much as the person that gives you the process, tells you how and what you should be doing, and then helps you put framework to control each of those different areas. So for example, say, um, say you've got some investment properties. Say, um, you know, one of them might be earning a greater income than the other, or one might have more equity in it than the other. Um, you might not be able to service the refinancing of the loan, so you might suggest I want to keep this property, but at the end of the day, you can't service the loan, so there's probably no point. So we put a strategy together to say, before you've even gone to the lawyer, we already know that the client can't keep this property because of the serviceability, or we already know that the client doesn't want to keep this property because if we sit there and um, look at what's going on in the environment, whether it's in a, let's say, a mining town or whether it's just up the road and, um, you know, um, I don't know, there's not good um, rental yields or something like that, we do all that homework with the client. So we give the client, go and research this, find this out, do this sort of bit of due diligence beforehand. So before they've even spoken to a lawyer, they've got a clear picture of what it is that they want from the separation and divorce from an assets perspective. And, and what will work financially for them. Because